Hello everyone, welcome to day 5th of April Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Sanjay Dudeja, I am working as Senior Software Developer 4 at Adobe and even before jumping on to the details of today's question, the most awaited video of Google interview experience of the page Kodra, one of the early subscriber of the channel who landed a job at Google is out. His journey is truly inspirational because he is from a non csc branch, he landed up a job at Wipro first, then moved on to Samsung and now he has finally got the job at Google. He is a true inspiration for all of us and in case Google is your dream company too, it's in your bucket list too, this video is for you. A lot of valuable advice is enclosed in this video so do check this out till the very end. It will give you the direction on how to get a job at Google. And also I have mentioned all the chapters that are that I talked about in this video. So if you're specifically interested in looking out for any specific question that is mentioned over here, you can simply choose the link from here and do check that portion of the video. I'm attaching its link in the description below. So do check it out and I genuinely hope you have a great time going through it. Now let's get back to today's question which is container with most water. Here in this question we are given an array of integers of length n. It represents the height of the vertical lines and we need to identify the maximum amount of water that can be contained in these containers whose height is specified over here. Let's walk through an example. Here uh, the container heights are specified as 18625487 c 7 and the maximum water that can be contained by any of the two containers turns out to be 49. Why 49? So, uh, the width over here of the container is of 7 units and the height, the minimum height of these two containers is of 7 units again. So the maximum water that can be enclosed turns out to be 7 into 7 which is 49. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 11, container with most water. Also in case if you have any doubt with respect to understanding this question or anything that you want to ask me please feel free to ping on the telegram group of Coding Decoded or the discord server of Coding Decoded. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to the question and let's take the same example that was specified. We have the heights as 18625487 and if you want to calculate the water that will be contained between any two vertical heights, what would be the formula for it? So let's assume the height of the first uh, container is H1 the height of the second container is h2 and this occurs at an index of i this occurs at an index of j now for calculating the area you will need two things one the height the other one the width so the height would be really simple you need to choose the minimum of h1 and h2 obviously because uh, you can't go for the maximum one you will always look out for the minimum value out of of h1 and h2 so we have decided over the height which is min of h1 comma h2 and what would be the width here the width again would be really simple it's it's j minus i so w represents width and it will be given by j minus i so let's see and apply over here whether this formula is working for us or not and area would be given by h into w so what is the height here the height here is 8 what is the height here the height here is 7 what is the width here so this is the first index and this is the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 minus 1 gives you 7 so the width turns out to be 7 in nature and the height would be taken as the minimum of 8 and 7 which will give you 7 again so the area turns out to be 49 so our formula is finally correct now comes the question how can we solve this problem up now let's apply the two pointer approach to actually identify each and every possibility of area that exists in this entire array how can i do that let's walk through it here I'll create two pointers, the left one and the right one and let's apply the same formula that we talked about, identify the minimum height, identify the width and calculate the area. So what is the height here? The height here is 1. What is the height here? The height here is 7. So the minimum out of these two is 1. So 
so we have identified height as 1 let's calculate the area so this is 0th index this is 8th index so uh, 8 minus 0 gives you 8 so this turns out to be 8 so 1 into 8 is 8 so the first possibility of area that we calculated turns out to be 8 and obviously we can also see this in the pictorial representation it will be something like this so the first iteration is done and we have calculated the water that will be contained by these two vertical bars one here the other one over here and this area turns out to be of 8 units so the first possibility of answer is 8 now let's look out for the next possibility of answer and how will we move ahead it's really simple so at whichever place left or right you are seeing the lower value you will look out for incrementing that pointer which is lower in nature here which one is lower left one is lower as a result of which you will increment left to the next height so now left gets incremented over here and right is still over here so left is here right is there so this case turns out to be the same as the first one that we talked here so let's quickly cover it up the minimum height between left and right is 7 units here the height is 8 here the height is 7 so the minimum is 7 and the width we have already calculated also turns out to be 7 so 7 into 7 gives you 49 and this 49 area is better than the previously computed one which was 8 as a result of it the maximum area that we have seen so far turns out to be 49 and it's also in sync with the expectation I can highlight the area which we have just identified which lies that I'm that in the region that I'm showing in red right now now comes the question moving ahead which pointer are we gonna increment so we will increment or decrement depending upon left and right which one has the lower value so right now the right one has lower value as a result of which we will simply reduce the right pointer so right gets updated to this position now right is here and left is over here let's recalculate the area again uh, the height here is 8 the height here is 3 so the minimum one out of these two is 3 and what is the width over here so width is given by j minus i so what is the i value here i value here is 1 what is the j value here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this index is 7 in nature 7 minus 1 gives you 6 so 3 into 6 gives you 18 so 18 is lower than the previously computed one which is 49 as a result of which we will simply skip this value. Now comes the question which in pointer are we gonna update. So we will be updating the one which has the lower value out of left and right which one has the lower height right has the lower height as a result of which right is gonna be updated. So let's update right by one unit towards the left direction and right now points to this particular position so right now points to this particular position and left is over here so let's calculate the heights of these two pointers this is pointing to 8 and this one is pointing to again 8 now what is the width uh, corresponding to uh, these two vertical heights uh, the i index over here is 1 the j index over here is 6 so 6 minus 1 gives you 5 this turns out to be the width and the height is minimum of these two which is 8 so this turns out to be 40 in nature 40 is still lower than 49 as a result of which the maximum area that we have seen still remains the same which is 49 and the area that I am showing right now is the one that we have calculated as 40 so far so good and let's again continue the process and what we are going to do this time since both the heights were equal you can simply increment either one of them either the left one or the right one it really doesn't matter so let's hypothetically assume we are going to update the left pointer ahead so left now points to this particular position and right still points to here um, what would be the height over here the height here is 6 the height here is 8 so which one is the lower one 6 is the lower one now let's calculate the width this index is 2 
this index is 6 so 6 minus 2 gives you 4 so 6 into 4 gives you 24 24 is lower than 49 as a result of which the maximum area still remains the same and if I want to highlight the, the water that will be enclosed between these two pillars it would be something like this and 24 value is in sync with our expectation the area that I am highlighting in pink right now is the one which corresponds to 24 area units now again let's continue the process which one is the lower one out of these two the lower one is left one as a result of which we will increment it to right let's proceed ahead now left points to this particular position and right is over here let's proceed ahead and let's calculate the area uh, what is the height over here the height here is 2 the height here is 8 so the lower one is 2 so let's calculate the width uh, this index is 3 this index is 6 so 6 minus 3 is 3 so the area would come out to be 6 units and it is in sync with our expectation whatever I am highlighting right now corresponds to 6 units of area 6 is way lower than 49 as a result of which the maximum area still remains as 49 let's proceed ahead which pointer are we going to increment we will increment the one which has the lower value so left has the lower value as a result of which left now points to this particular position and right is still over here let me just change the color of pen yellow is not visible so left points to here and right is over here so what is the lower height of these two the height here is 5 the height here is 8 the lower of 5 and 8 turns out to be 5 and the width is 2 units as a result of which the area that we calculated turns out to be 10 it is again lower than the previously maximum calculated area which was 49 we are going to skip this up again comes the concern which height or pointer are you going to increment we will again increment the one which has lower value left is at lower index as a result of which now left points to the next index which is this one left points to over here the height here is 4 uh, the height at the right index is 8 so out of 4 and 8 which one is the lower one the lower one is 4 and let's calculate the width width is of 1 units so whatever I am highlighting right now corresponds to the area which turns out to be 4 into 1 the area 4 is again lower than 49 as a result of which we are simply gonna skip this up with this we have completed the iteration because now both these pointers are gonna cross each other and the maximum area that we were able to identify turns out to be 49 which is in sync with our expectation the time complexity of this approach is order of n and we haven't used any extra space so the space complexity is again of constant time to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and have a look at the coding part so it's exactly same as i have talked here i have taken two pointers one the maximum area which will actually be responsible for calculating the maximum area over the entire array uh, uh, moving ahead i have taken two pointers i represents uh, the left pointer j represents the right pointer till the time my i is less than j i go and calculate the width which will be given by j minus i as i talked in the presentation as well i shoot for calculating the minimum height at the j index versus at the high index and i then calculate the current area that would be given by width into minimum height of height of i comma height of j so i go ahead and choose the one that i have calculated maximum so far while iterating through the entire array so max is responsible for storing that variable and moving ahead in case my height of j is lower than height of height of i is lower than height of j i increment the i pointer otherwise i decrement the j pointer so you will be updating the pointer which is of lower value in terms of heights when you are once you are out of the loop you will simply re return the max value that we have computed so far so let's try this up accepted I'm connected to VPN that's why it's probably slower but anyways uh, this is the best optimized time solution that anyone can provide this brings me to the end of today's session I hope you really enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded 
I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.